Yo guys, Panda here, and these are gonna be the last parts of the Q&A, so stick around, it's not gonna last that much longer, just three parts. Anyway, let's continue. First up is Blazing Mosquito, and he has about 10 questions. And his first question is, what video games are you excited for in 2013? Um, I think you asked this question like in the beginning of 2013, because then I would have said like Tomb Raider and Bioshock Infinite, which I already have. Haven't played them yet, because I'm a lazy bastard, but... Uh, yeah, I was looking forward to those. Uh, but currently, the only game I'm excited for in 2013 is uh, Kingdom Hearts 1.5. <laughs> That's really it. Like, there are going to be some major releases at the end of the year, including the release of the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4, with some very good games on it. Don't get me wrong, but I just look at it and I'm like, man, I'm looking forward to the HD version of the old game I actually already have. Yeah, I know that's the Vinyl Mix version and it has the PlayStation 2 version of, Mem of Chain of Memories and the cutscenes of Days. I know all of that, but basically it's the game I already have. Fuck it, I'm still looking forward to it. Final Mix version! So I'm just gonna play it until like, I'm just gonna play it so much until I'm like level 90. And I can finally beat Sephiroth. Which I never did. Because he was too much of a uh, badass. And I was too much of a pussy back then. But yeah. Only yeah, the only game I'm looking forward to in 2013 so far, or at least in this point at this point. Game Watch 1.5, nothing else. Um Yeah, nothing. <laughs> Actually nothing. Maybe if I get a free DS, yeah, if I can find a one for a good price, I might be looking forward to like the new Zelda or some other games, but no, nothing else. No not that 2013 is a bad year, no, it's been a very good year so far, but yeah, just nothing that really piques my interest. Except King of Hearts. Because. Yeah, we all know how much I'm addicted to that stuff. Yeah. Anyway, the second question. What are your thoughts on fan service in anime? Uh, I don't mind fan service. If it's done for comedic. Uh, for comedic value only. And if done on occasion. If it's the entire time. Then th th that's not funny. It's like, oh look, boobies. Oh look, panty. That's. Not really funny. Perhaps the first time, if it's an awkward moment, I'm like, ha ha, your panties are showing. But by the tenth time in one episode, you're like, oh, her panties are showing. Again. Yeah, that I totally did not see that one coming. No, not not, not, not at all, no. And the worst part, even if it's not for com the worst actually is, if it's not just for comedy, but just for, like, arouse, to arouse the viewer. What's the point? It's like, oh look, she's almost butt naked. Yeah, I can Google hentai and, and, and have like full hardcore porn. Which actually is sad when you think about it because it's drawn porn, but fuck it. I have needs. <laughs> no, but I, I don't get it about fan service. Especially not when fan service takes up most of the anime itself. And it goes to extreme lengths of being almost porn, but not officially porn. Because then again, I ask myself, why am I watching this instead of actual porn? I, I watch anime for the story, for the character, for the action. Not for, like, boobies. It's nice if for one pervy moment or for a gag, you know, fine. But if it's the entire time, and if it's only to make you laugh, there's not enough, no other comedy in the anime, then I don't see a point. I really don't. For people who do like it, you know, just for gags or for being aroused good for you but personally get it out of here no I'm not I have nothing against fan service and nothing against people who actually enjoy it I just I watch anime for different reasons again if I want to watch boobies and asses and whatnot I watch hentai or porno I'm just saying guys I'm just saying uh, I just actually openly admitted I watch hentai or did I or did I not I'll leave that for you to decide yeah, that was awkward. Anyway, third question. My favorite console. Easy, GameCube. So, nothing will beat my GameCube, I'm sorry. Even if the Wii U gets this amazing library, or whatever comes after you, it gets an amazing library, or even the new... Well, I don't think the Xbox One will do that. Or the PlayStation 4 or 5 will have this amazing library. It doesn't matter. Nothing will beat my GameCube. I love my GameCube till death. Like, if, if like one of my systems... Or to break down, like my Xbox, 
well, hopefully if it does break down, it doesn't erase all my save files, because that will be quite angry and sad. But if, like, my Xbox 60 Slim dies, whatever you know, and I have saved all the save files somewhere else, then I'll be like, eh, I'll get a new one. But if my old GameCube dies, I would be sad. I would be like, ah, oh, I had a thing so many years, for so many years. I love the little bugger. I do. I have so many great games on it. Sure, I probably have more games on my PlayStation 2 or my 360, but it's harder for me to make a top 10 of my favorite GameCube games than my top 10 favorite Xbox or PlayStation games. Just, I just love it so that much. Always love, always love it, no matter what. And let's see. Fourth question: Who is my favorite Organization 13 member? And for those of you who are wondering, Organization 13 is a evil organization, the Kingdom Hearts games. Yes, I know. I'm mentioning Kingdom Hearts again. You can sue me already. But who's my favorite? Um, I. It's very easy for me to pick Axel because I fucking love Axel. And I was so glad that he's back in Dream Drop Distance. I was like, yes! But I'm going with Zigbar. Why I'm choosing Zigbar above everyone else, including Axel, is... First of all, I like his design. He has scars on his face. He has scars on his face. He has an eye patch. He has a ponytail. Uh, everyone uses melee weapons, but he just goes for these guns. Who shoot needles. And I liked how he trolled so a lot of times in Kingdom Hearts 2. Always mentioning like the previous Keyblade wheels and so I was like, huh? And not, not just Sora, but as the player, like, what previous Keyblade wielders? You are, how old are you? And wait, there were other Keyblade wielders before Sora? What you mean, like King Mickey? Well, no, he. If that's the case, then there should only be one previous Keyblade wielder. So who are the other ones? You know, I, I just like that. Plus, there was also a hint towards Burba Sleep, but. Which I always enjoyed because a lot of people say, oh, Burba Sleep, you know, was not needed, there were no hints towards it. To which I like to point out, do you see this, those scenes with Zigbar saying, you know, mentioning those previous Keybay wheels? They're like, hey, they did mention it, I'm just saying. Um, yeah, that's why I like Zigbar. I like his design, I like his weapons, I like his personality. Just, oh. Plus, he's also back in Dream Drop Distance, which makes me quite happy. Even though I haven't played Dream Drop Distance. Yeah, I really, I really need to get a 3DS at one point. <laughs> I do, but yeah, Zig, I choose Zigbar because fuck, it, he's awesome. Oh, and he was also awesome in Birth by Sleep uh, as Break. Fucking loved him in that one. Good boss battle as well, both in Birth by Sleep and Kingdom Hearts 2. Yeah, Zigbar's my man. Uh, fifth question: What is the worst internet meme you've ever experienced? <sighs> worst internet meme. Hmm. I, I could say Arrow in the Knee joke, because it was funny, but that meme got old in a week or two. Like, really old and annoying. Uh, I don't know, Grumpy Cat? I don't, uh, I don't mind Grumpy Cat, but it's really popular. And to be honest, they're even making a Grumpy Cat movie, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm like, really? A Grumpy Cat movie? I mean, I know you've run out of ideas, Hollywood, for the most, but I know, but... Really? Grumpy Cat movie? Fuck that, man. Um, I could say some of the My Little Pony memes got old fast as well. Uh, nothing else comes to mind, actually. No, Grumpy Cat a bit. Aaron the Knee Joke. Uh, all the other memes I define tolerable, decent, or actually funny. I mean, the success key, you know, the little baby that, like, shook his fist. That one's still funny as hell to me. Nothing else, no. Try, man. Uh, we move on to the seventh question. No, no, wait. Seventh? Sixth question, my bad. Sixth question. What do you think is the worst type of video content on YouTube? Aside from uh, commentaries that aren't actually constructive. <laughs> yes, I'll never let go of that. I'm sorry, that's just what I think of the commentary community. You're not being constructive, you're just trying to be assholes and trying to be funny. Hooray. Yeah, that's really something you can be proud of. I made fun of this guy instead of actually being constructive in my video. You deserve a golden fucking star. What is the worst kind of video content on YouTube? Uh, I would just sound like Ray William, Ray William Jones, which doesn't require any fucking effort at all. It's like, hey, I have a bit of a sort of a personality and I'm showing these videos. That's it. Uh, what else? 
Actually, I try to avoid most YouTube content, to be honest. I, I usually just watch reviews or Let's Plays. And actually, that's it, I think. Well, yeah, mostly I just watch reviews on Let's Plays about video games. Um, what else for worst content on YouTube? Uh, I, I, I like music videos, like when it's based of, uh, when, you use, when you use video clips of uh, anime or video game or whatnot. But what I can't stand, aside from using songs that I used way too fucking much, Linkin Park comes to mind, is that if they haven't added anything, like they just took a clip, put some generic ass song under it, and that's it. Like, I made a music video. No, 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 no. That's not an actual music video. Well, okay, technically it is, but I don't consider it, to be honest. I don't consider it to be one. It requires zero fucking effort. Can't stand. I mean, when I try to make a music video or a small entry, you no, know, it takes some time. It takes like, okay, which clip I'm going to use? What song? You know, how do I match with the beat and so forth? That takes actual effort and thought. This is just like, oh, put a clip there, put some music on it, upload it. There, I'm done. Get the fuck out of here. Get get that shit out of here, man. Get it. Get it out of here. Don't want it. Uh, what else? No, yeah, can't say. I, I could say, I could say YouTube horse, but it's not really. It's not really specific now, ain't it? Uh, okay, I got nothing else. Sorry, I got nothing. <laughs> no, again, but I'm, I mostly just watch reviews and let's plays on YouTube. Aside from some video game soundtracks, unless I can download them somewhere. And that's it. So, sorry man, got nothing else. And we move to his seventh question. His seventh question is... Which do you prefer, JRPGs or Western RPGs, and why? Ooh, this is a, this is a quite a tough one, because I love both. I love both. I actually love RPGs in general, but I'm going to go with JRPGs. For reason, I, I love turn-based. I know that all JRPGs are turn-based, but even till this, but in the old days and even up to this day, there are still a lot of turn-based ones. I love those. I know some people like it's boring, it's slow. You know, it's like. This is not how real battles go, it's not realistic. To which I can point to it, I'm fighting a gigantic dragon. Is that fucking realistic? But whatever. Uh, but I can understand where they're coming from, but there's just something strategic about it. When I'm like, okay, my opponent just did that, uh -huh, let me see. Should I use healing on that character, or should I put that character in defense? And which monster am I gonna attack? That monster or that monster? If I attack that monster with this character, I can get a critical, but there's a small chance, so. What do I do? What do I do? You know, I, I like that element of JRPGs. These turn-based ones. Uh, what else? I usually prefer the music. I mean, the music in a lot of J uh, Western RPGs is good, don't get me wrong. But nothing that really sticks. No, nothing that really actually sticks in my mind. I mean, I can even Final Fantasy, Kingdom Hearts, Dragon Quest, uh, the Mario Luigi games, the Paper, Ma Paper Mario games, uh, Blue Dragon. Um, I'm looking at my shelf right now, I'm, I'm probably missing a couple of games. Tales of Symphonia, because they, they all have music that, that just sticks in my head. And I don't really have that with Western RPGs. Um, also, I like the, con the ideas for stories that JRPGs comes up, come up with. Yeah, some of them are quite ridiculous, don't get me wrong, but no, no, I, I just enjoy that. So, that's why I picked JRPGs. Again, I love both versions. I love RPGs in general. But if I had to pick, I'd go for JRPGs. Also, I have, I have this. Uh, uh, guilt, it's a guilty pleasure for, for me uh, to see like these over-the-top hairs and costumes, like the Final Fantasy. Yeah, it's silly, but I enjoyed it. Sue me for it, you know. So yeah, JRPGs. Uh, eighth question: Do you like '80s music? Oh fuck yeah, I do. Seriously, I, I listen to a lot of '80s metal, so yeah, love '80s music. Well, not even just Mel, just a lot of things in general from the 80s when it comes to music. And 90s as well. Sure, some of them are quite silly. Like a lot of boy bands, like Backstreet Boys. But yeah, I still enjoy Backstreet Boys. Again, you'll probably be all surprised by that, but it's the truth, man. I like uh, Backstreet Boys. Well, some songs. Hey, it's my childhood. Sue me again. It's like the third time already, huh? Um, yeah, I like 80s music. Ninth question, DC or Marvel? I love both. But I'm going, um, I'm going with Marvel because even though I've 
I've come to appreciate DC a lot more re in the recent years. Like first I just liked Superman and Batman, but now I like Wonder Woman, I like The Flash, I like Green Lantern. Uh, I'm forgetting someone here. Um, um, God damn it, I, I, I'm... I'm Aqu I fuck, seriously, Aquaman is a badass. If you say he's not, well, fuck you. Okay, that sounded way too mature, but seriously, Aquaman is really nothing like his, like his 60s super friend version. Seriously, he's quite badass. But, even with that, and I do have to admit, their animated movies are pretty good. The live movies, not so much though, to be honest, but that's just me. But Marvel says the most interesting characters to me, and their movies are also quite a lot better. Like, they're serious, they have a bit dark, but they're also campy and fun. Something I was kind of missing from, well, no, oh, not so much the Nolan movies, but what well, I've seen of Man of Steel, yeah, I, I, I shouldn't be judging it because I haven't actually seen it, but from what I heard, a lot of people agree with me that it's, it's just trying to be like Batman, like, it's Superman, he's not supposed to be like Batman. But that, that's an entire separate video, and I don't want this to go on for too long, it's already over 60 minutes, <laughs> I want to wrap it up. So yeah, so... I love both love, loved, but I'm going with Marvel. Actually, I think most because of Wolverine. I, I just love Wolverine. He's just awesome. And his tenth and final question. What do you think of the GTA series? Um, actually, I, I really enjoyed San Andreas. I played, I played it one summer, many years ago. I loved it. Played Vice City a lot at a friend's house. Loved it too, especially the soundtrack. GTA 3, not so much. Never. It's not a, it's not a bag and not bad, but... Just the least appealing to me. Never played GTA 4 of any of its uh, additions, and while the entire world is excited for GTA 5, I couldn't give a crap. I'm serious. I, I don't care. It's just not that interesting to me. I, I think it was because they're trying to be a bit more focused on storytelling and, and being serious, and that's perfectly fine, of course. But you know, I like the over-the-top goofiness of, of San Andreas and San Andre uh, no San Andreas and Vice City a lot. So yeah, and again, I love the soundtrack as well and so forth. But again, I think the GTA series is a good series, but it's not. I mostly just play because you no, know, just to fuck around, roam free, and use cheat codes and whatnot. But to, I, and I have played the games like follow the story and then doing the missions and whatnot. But that just I did it for like several, a couple of hours, and then I was like bored and went on doing something else. The series just never grabbed me as I did with other players. It just never did. Bad, good series, but. Just, yeah, I, how can I say this? Um, I enjoyed, but that's about it. Nothing else. Anyway, that was Blazing Mosquito, and let's move on to the next two persons. Actually, the next two people. Yeah, next two people. Damn it, Panda. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, two more people left. And so uh, let's wrap this up, shall we?